Hey everybody, my name is Mr. Wobbles and I am a beatbox YouTuber and because of that, I get asked questions all the time and some of those questions include Imagine if Freeps did this and Hey, how do you get off Swiss beatbox? and my favorite one Hey, are you the Napalm brother? No, I am not Napalm's brother. Maybe back in the day our ancestors are the same or something, I don't know. But one thing I do know is the question that I get asked a lot which is Hey, Mr. Wobbles how do I start getting into beatboxing? Now, before I get into this, this is not a video on how to do basic beatbox sounds. I think there's plenty of tutorials on that and they all do a way better job at it than I possibly could. And here's three of my favorite tutorials right here in these boxes that are probably covering up my face. But hey, it's okay. It doesn't matter. My face isn't that pretty. These are way prettier. And you know what's also pretty? Subscribing to those people because they're all super talented beatboxers and their tutorials and their content is awesome. Now, this tutorial though is going to be on how to be a beatboxer and not just be someone who knows how to beatbox. And what I mean by that is that you need to buy gear, you need to join the community, and you need to possess a certain amount of skills that will help you to progress as a musician and differentiate yourself from being someone who knows how to do an art form and someone who is able to live and live off of the art form. Although I don't, but I think I kind of have a grasp on like how to do that. So. Here's the first thing, and that would be gear. Now, obviously, as you can see, I kind of have a addiction to gear. Um, <laughs> I need help. Uh, low key, though, I started collecting audio engineering gear when I was 13. Uh, my dad had an audio interface that he used for his business, and I was obsessed with that thing. I asked him every single day, "Hey, could I, could I, can I have it? Could I have it? Could I have it?" And one day he was just like, fine, here, God, stop annoying me. And my problem has flourished since then. So I'm here where I'm at now, and you don't need to have the same problem. But what you do need is to have three essential pieces of gear that can help you become a better beatboxer. The first thing is going to be a microphone. Now, out of three microphones, I think I would recommend this microphone the most, which is the SM58. Now, the reason why the SM58 is so important and so vital is because it is an industry standard, which means almost every single venue has it. Almost every single person who identifies as an audio engineer or audio specialist has it, and it's really good to learn on. It's a dope microphone, and it only costs about $100. Now, I know that's kind of a steep price point, so if you're interested in buying a microphone that's a little bit cheaper, not as good, but still is pretty good, it's not the worst, go look at the Behringer XM8500. Now you can find it on Amazon for 20 bucks. I was the first microphone I ever bought and it's pretty good. I don't, I don't mind that microphone and it really kills it for beginners trying to learn how to use a microphone in the first place. If you're looking for something a little bit more high end though, maybe you're a little bit deeper into your beatbox career and you have a little bit more money to spend, uh, go ahead and look at the Sennheiser E945. It's my current microphone and I think out of all the microphones in the 200 to $300 range, it is the best handheld microphone on earth it kills it secondly every beatboxer should have a mixer that connects to their computer and or their macbook now the mixer i have is the behringer xenix 1002 usb and i think it cost me like 94 dollars and i swear to god it is the best mixer i have ever used it's awesome it has compressors it has a three band equalizer and i'm able to make my beatboxing sound good and i don't think you need anything more or anything less i think it's that's a perfect price point and the reason why you need something that connects to online is because literally beatboxing is 80% online community, 20% real world. And having a nice mic and a nice mixer for that will greatly help to improve your self-esteem when you go and beatbox for people in online lobbies and make Omegle videos. It'll increase your audio quality, etc. There's so many pluses and so little cons. So get a mixer. Now finally, the last piece of gear that I would recommend is a PA system and or a amplifier. Now the difference is one has onboard effects and one is just something you plug your mixer into. Now personally, I would go with a PA system and I would go with a used one on Craigslist because you can literally buy a $400 PA system for $100. Um, if you want to get an amp and if you want to street perform with something, I'd recommend getting the Roland Street or the Roland Street EX and it's good to know how to sound good on that because if you can sound good on that, you can sound good on a big system and that's a huge part of beatboxing. So that's the gear you should totally buy and if you wanna buy it in a lump sum, 
Um, there's a website called zzounds.com. I've used it to buy all this gear. It's awesome as a musician. It's it's great because what they do is they let you buy a whole bunch of gear and they you can pay it off in six months without any interest. And pretty much every music retailer does this because a lot of musicians buy music gear on like uh, credit pretty much. They, they, they buy it over time because music gear doesn't sell that well. It's this whole market problem. But, you know, if you want to do that, I'll leave a link in the bottom and I'll show you what gear you need specifically right there. So go check that out. Now, my second topic is going to be on the community of beatboxing. As many of you know, our community is massive. So there's the physical sphere of that, which is events jams, workshops, festivals, and battles. And those are pretty much in your geographical area or your country and you go to them and it's a twice a, a, a year type of thing. And the best way to figure out about those are through Facebook on forums like uh, We Talk Beatbox, Swizz Beatbox, etc., etc. But I think one of my favorite websites is humanbeatbox.com. You can find the link in the bottom here. And the cool thing about that is it pretty much like tracks every single beatbox event happening including jams and shows and along with that it has a list of beatboxers with where they live in the world so if you want to figure out who lives near you that's a really great way to do it and then you can link up with those beatboxers and it's pretty awesome so i'd recommend checking that out it's great for learning about events etc etc now one of the most important parts of the beatbox community in my personal opinion is the online community reason being is that i think a lot of beatboxers can pretty much say that the online presence of beatboxing really helped them to actually get into the the physical community and it's a huge influence on all of us so obviously beatboxing is really really big on voice chat channels which is why i think a mixer that connects to your computer is so important because if you want to go on TeamSpeak, which is actually a huge voice channel platform that was usually used for gaming but is now used for music they have this one website or this one server called beatboxrap.com where they do daily battles they have professionals on there i think bmg was on there like a few days ago that's crazy <laughs> BMG is awesome, and they had like freaking day. They, so they have daily battles. They have professionals. They have jams. They have a whole bunch of reasons to be on there as a beatboxer, especially as a beginner, because you can learn sounds. You can network with people. It's awesome. There's a link down below on how to connect to it. And also, I've heard of this other one called I think Discord. It's run by this other beatboxer named Xpro Dubstep, and he posted a tweet recently saying that he had an active community of one point. 4,000 people, so 1,400 people. That's crazy. That's a lot of people that use Discord. So if you want to get into the online community, that's a dope way to get into it because you can network with people and really start to hone yourself as a beatboxer and present yourself to others. Now my final topic is going to be on the skills needed to go from being someone who can beatbox to an actual beatboxer. There's so many people out there who think that just because they can do something like beatboxing or playing guitar, that they're instantly... Like they should just get all the praise and the love in the world, et cetera, et cetera. And that's just not how it is. That's not, you're not in touch with reality on that. You have to do so much more with your music than just be able to do it. And that's why I think these skills are super important to be a better beatboxer and to push yourself as a musician into a career rather than just a hobby. Now, first of all, one of the most important things of being a beatboxer, trying to go out in the world and doing it, is having a set. And when I say a set, I mean having 15 minutes of solid routines that even if you mess up on certain parts, you can bring yourself back into the routine and finish it strongly. This is, I cannot stress how important this is to have because there's so many times I've been to a show where there's a beatboxer playing and they just dabble. Don't dabble. Have your stuff ready. Be professional. Go kill it. That's all you need to do. Secondly, I think it is incredibly important to push your brand. And what I mean by that is create yourself to be an image and or an entity and use that as a way to push yourself out on all these social media platforms. When you go street performing, make a business card. Be your be a be something that someone can go search for and then know it's you. Like I'm Mr. Wobbles. You go on Mr. Wobbles on most social media platforms and you'll find me or you'll find a cat. I hate that cat, yo. But it's okay. You can you be original, man. Go or or lady, go do your thing. Third, and I cannot stress this enough, learn how to do some musical technical skills. And what I mean by that is, I, I know so many beatboxers who have no idea how to use a metronome, have no idea how to record themselves, have no idea how to use a camera, who, who do not know how to do any audio engineering things at all, who, who don't have ideas in terms of cameras, how to direct, how to produce. Learn this stuff. Go learn how to use a, a digital audio workstation. Go learn how to use that microphone right. 
do something that requires you to learn about music and then you'll be a better musician and a better beatboxer because of it. Thank you so much for watching that. Uh, I do lessons, by the way. If you're interested in lessons, I do them $35 an hour and $25 for a half hour all on Skype. And if you live near me, I'll do them like in real life, et cetera, et cetera. So if you're interested in that, hit me up. The email's right under this video. And thank you so much for watching. Wobbles out.